Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Our reading this morning is from the book Child of God by the spirit Jonah de Angelis and the medium Givaldo Franco. The, uh, it's item 29, Give Thanks to God. A sensible person never complains. He understands the greatness of life and its harmony. If he contemplates the universe, he is entranced, entranced by the magnitude of infinite solar systems. If he considers the microcosm, he is astonished by the extraordinary manifestation of life through equally innumerable particles, molecules, and infinite small elements. In his body beats a heart, a perfect pump working ceaseless, ceaselessly from the very first impulse of life onwards, maintaining and vitalizing a complex physical machine of trillions of cells through two two energetic muscular movements, systole and diastole. The heart is responsible for the maintenance of the organic cosmos in which we dwell temporarily. One needs not examine any other organ besides the heart to be thankful for this divine pulse within ourselves. The least we can do is to be thankful for the work of the heart, pulsating day and night, in joy or sadness, at work or at rest, in pleasure or in pain, keeping life going on without our conscious awareness of its work. So, be thankful to God for a heart so marvelously conceived to help you work out your evolution through reincarnation and forget the pity problems that worry you, which threaten to unsettle you. Thank God for your life, your body, and your immortal spirit, which irresistibly marches towards him. So, dear brothers and sisters, with this wonderful message by our mentor, Joanna de Angelis, we invite all so that we can raise our thoughts to our Heavenly Father and give thanks for our lives. Give thanks for the heart that is pumping and keeping us alive. For all the blessings that we are unaware of, that we don't stop to consider how our physical body is a miracle. Each tiny cell, the trillion of them working together to keep us alive. So let us be thankful for this wonderful instrument that is allowing our immortal spirit to be reincarnated, to be on the physical side of life, acquiring experiences, knowledge that will bring us closer to the ultimate goal, which is 